Hours after Tinubu's file disappeared from CCB's possession, see what Malami said. <laughs> My people, so we've reported to you that um, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu's file that was kept in a vault disappeared and has not since yet not been seen. The Attorney General of the Federation, who is supposed to be the man of justice, Boreas, is the most, one of the most corrupt men presently in Nigeria today. So much so that this man was looking at, with the money he has stolen so far, looking at contesting for governorship position. And these are the people that Buhari has enriched to, you know, put them in that position and they've been stealing with not double handle, with their soul. Okay? So much so that when uh, the former ESCC boss was indicted, he, put, he also explained how this one was indicted, but nobody paid attention. He was thinking of going to, you know, contest for Kirby State to become the governor. Of course, to steal more money. But right now, he has stolen so much that he's not bothered about Kirby State. He wants to go for presidency. And as such, has pressed on that one of his boys, you know, the present Bauer, the present C, uh, B, um, EFCC boss, be the new EFCC chair. And what, what are some of those purposes? So that this EFCC chair will help adequately to keep Tinubu on his toes and Tinubu will forget about presidential ambition. After Tinubu's fire, which we reported to you, got missing from the vote in uh, CCB, right now this is what he's saying about the case. You know, he's supposed to be the head of justice, but he's not a just man. Only God knows what kind of a man he is. Hours after Tinubu's file disappeared from CCB's possession, see what Malami has said. Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation, has spoken since Tinubu's file got missing from EFCC, the Code of Conduct Borough possession. The Economic and Financial Crime Commission requested copy for Tinubu's assets declaration, which they safely kept in a vault. However, a few days ago, the access information that Tinubu pro provided to the EFCC, which they kept in their Code of Conduct Borough, was disappeared. God disappeared and uh you know they've not been able to recover or find out do you want to tell me that there's no cctv in a whole i don't know i'm just asking okay you know uh, with the disappearance of the record from the ccb the ongoing investigation into tinubu's asset might be suspended so that's the aim tinubu na actor the guy na commando so what the implication is that the ongoing investigation for the fact that there's no file no case Okay, his ongoing investigation into Tinubu's assets might be suspended due to the lack of evidence to pursue the case further. The shocking development has left many unanswered questions in the mind of millions of Nigeria. Reacting to the development, the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, has disclosed that the FCC and the Code of Conduct Bureau should have kept things in their possession properly. That what they have done is illegal and shows that there is incompetence in the office and thorough investigation should rather follow as to how people's treasured possession in their hands got missing this is supposed to be a con uh, this is supposed to be a code of conduct where things are kept and these things can be reached at any point in time it's supposed to be one of the safest places where things could be kept but right now these things are missing. He said he's not the one investigating Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, but he's speaking in terms of when things are not done properly. That's the Attorney General of the Federation, the guy on the verse. How come Tinubu's file got missing? He's very angry. He's very upset about it. He's not happy at all. You know, Tinubu's asset, whatever they were supposed to hold on to be able to prosecute him, got missing. How did this happen? You know, the other day he was he was he was, he was in an interview in Channel's TV, and he made the whole world. What's happening now is that um, Abubakar Malami is not happy. The very first job that was given to Bawa, which everybody know Bawa is his boy, he's the one that insists that Bawa must be used put as a new EFCC chair. Although this guy has so many court cases on him, a very uh, intense documented uh, criminal activities that this young man was involved in was sent to President Muhammadu Buhari. Despite that, all that was ignored, and he was still made the chair of EFCC. 
now in his own very possession, Ashwaju Bola Tinubu's file got missing. And so they cannot understand how these things are happening. How did Ashwaju Bola Tinubu's file got missing? So Abu uh, 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 Malami is very worried. They don't know that Tinubu is a, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> He's a Jew. <laughs> he's a Jew man. Tinubu is a, is an actor. I would like to say he's an actor, you know, because I mean something that was kept. And I want to believe that such a building should have CCTV uh, cameras, uh, you know, things to be able to check in and out, in and out movement, who came in at as what time. And even within the building, to be able to check people's, uh, you know, what progress, what is going on, how things are being, how things are, what are, what is happening in the, within the building. I'm surprised that none of that was in place until somebody successfully came in, you know, took out these uh, uh, evidences because this is they asked him to submit this uh, this um, they asked him to submit this uh, uh, the document which he submitted. You know, he did submit the document. So, I mean, nobody can say he did not. He did submit the document. Whatever happened is their own, you know. And, and guess what? Chinubu can actually sue them to court. Because this is his asset declaration form, whatever it is that he has submitted to them. Chinubu can actually sue them to court. But guess what? I think the man has better things to do right now with his time. And, um, you know, we all know that Tinubu is pursuing presidency. And he can see now, for starters, that Muhammad Buhari is not a friend to him. He's an enemy. You know, he can see for, for starters because Muhammad Buhari was one person he so supported. I'm not saying Tinubu is a good person. Don't get, me, don't get me wrong at all. I'm just analyzing to you what is currently going on in our government today, how things are being run. There are no permanent friends or permanent enemy in, in the government. They are all, it's, it's a case of dog eat dog. Nobody's sticking out for the other. Everybody's just, you know, nobody's standing up for another. It's a very sad reality case of what is going on in Nigeria. No integrity. They keep saying that in Nigeria, uh, they keep saying that in Nigerian, uh, uh, Nigerian politics is dirty. It's not just Nigerian politics. I want to say politics all over, but... The one of Nigeria is particularly dirty because the, if you know what they do, irrespective of who gets hurt, irrespective of what, get, what happens, you'll be shocked as to the level at which things are in this country. So my people, this is what is on ground. Uh, Bubaka Malami has responded to Tinubu's missing file. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.